Hi there, welcome to the FFML videos. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the FFML for different machine learning tasks. The first step is to import different packages that you might need. Uh, while working with the FFML, uh, you can usually use this asteric operator and it sets you up with all the kinds of packages that you might need for your different tasks. Uh, you can also uh, import the other libraries that you might need as well. Uh, after that, uh, you will want to download your data set. Uh, for this, the FFML has a very convenient function, cache it download. Pretty obvious from the name, but cache it download makes it so that uh, you can you, should, you only download a file or a data set if it isn't downloaded already. In this case, uh, we use cache it download and we pass the URL from which we are going to download uh, our data. Uh, we pass the path where we need uh, it to be downloaded and uh, in this case I'm just passing the name of the file and so it will just download the file in the current directory and set it to this name and then you pass the expected hash uh, for this function uh, you need to calculate the expected hash you can easily find how to calculate it at uh, its documentation here there is also another variant of this function uh, cache it download unpack archive in case you're uh, you want to download a zipped file or an archive it also lets you unpack the archive and it works the same otherwise after you uh, and you can see after running uh, the function it doesn't take uh, any long because uh, I've already downloaded the data set uh, in my directory and it doesn't download it again after you've downloaded the data set, uh, you will want to load it into a source type. In this case, uh, we are using the CSV source as our file was a CSV file. Uh, you can, uh, in case it was an image data set, uh, you could have used uh, a directory source as well. Uh, you can find different types of sources uh, on the documentation. Here you can see that we have loaded the data into our source and uh, if we print a single record this is how it looks i hope this is all clear and this was helpful uh, you can also uh, watch other videos on different concepts at the dfml videos youtube uh, channel and uh, if you have any queries you can always open github issues or reach us at the github community thank you